Hi kids, welcome to my Facebook page and also to my TikTok. Okay, let's talk about addition. The meaning of addition is putting numbers together. So we have also the parts of addition. 56 and 14 are what we called addends. The sign for addition is plus. And then when you add them, you will use equal to. And the answer for addition is what we call sum. Do you understand? Today, I'm going to discuss about three properties of addition. Let's try number one. The number one is commutative property. Repeat after me. Commutative property. Like for example, A plus B is the same as B plus A. It means if you have 4 plus 5, it is the same as 5 plus 4. So it means, ang dalawang number, pag pinagbaligtad mo, makukuha mo pa rin ang sagot. Again, when you swap or when you change their position, you will still get the same answer. So 4 plus 5 is 9. 5 plus 4 is still 9. So they are still the same. Okay, let's try. 180 plus 220. When you change their position by 220 plus 180. Even you change their position, their answer will be the same. So, for example, we have 0 plus 0, 0. 8 plus 2, 10, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. The same thing here. 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 8 is 10, carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 400. So, you will still get the same answer. That is commutative property. Wherein... When you, uh, when you change their position, you will still get the same answer. Okay? Now, let's move to number okay. two. The next property is what we call associative property. Again, associative property. So, in number one, commutative property, changing position. Associative property, changing group. It can be the same as a plus C plus B. Like for example, 4 plus 2 uh, bracket plus 3 is the same as 4 uh, plus bracket 2 plus 3 equal 4 plus 3 plus 2. So they have their group, no? Even you change their position or even you change their group you will still get the same answer. Let's do it. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 3 equals, bring down 4, plus 2 plus 3 is 5 equals 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 2. So 6 plus 3 is 9, 4 plus 5 is 9, 7 plus 2 is 9. Even you change their group, you will still get the same answer. And that is what we call associative property. Nakuha po ba? Okay, let's have another example. 1 plus 2 bracket plus 5 equals 1 plus bracket 2 plus 5 equals 5 plus 1 plus 2. Okay, so I just changed their uh, group. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 5 equals 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 7 equals 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 2. Let's add 3 plus 5, 8 equals 1 plus 7 is 8. Two, uh, 6 plus 2 is 8. So, even we change their group, you will still get the same answer. Nakuha po ba? And let's try the last 
property of uh, addition. Okay, let's let's try about the third or the last property of addition. So we have identity property or adding by zero. So it means any number that add to zero, the answer is a number. Like for example, I have 55 plus zero. I have a number, add to zero. The answer is a number, which is 55. So it means a plus zero is equal to a. Another example, zero plus 485,970. The answer is 485,917. So again, identity property, it means... Any number that add to zero, the answer is a number. Okay? That will be all for the three properties of addition. So, we have commutative property, associative property, and identity property or adding by zero. Okay? Do you understand? Okay, I will give you an example and please state what property. Now, it is your turn. Please state the different kinds of property. So, we have commutative property, associative property, and identity property. So, in number one, what property is this? Hmm. Number two, what property is this? Hmm. Okay. And number three, what property is this? Hmm. I will wait your answer. Okay? That's all. Thank you.